Hello, we're back again. The other week I made a new version of my joggler skin for the Pi Core Player, which is used on a 7-inch uh, touchscreen. So I thought I might as well tweak my HD version, which is used on our TV, say 1920 by 1080. And plus you install it the same way, well, say the new way I install my skins now, which I showed you on the 7-inch version, say a couple of weeks ago. And plus I've made a full set of meters, which you can use. Right, first thing I'm going to do is start a bit of software called WinSCP. I'll put a link in the description. First thing I'm going to do is click on New Site. Host name is the IP address of your PyCore player. So mine is 192.168.1.150. Username is TC, lowercase. Password is PyCore with a capital C. Right, I'm going to click on save in the drop down. I'm going to click save. And I'm going to save my password. It's up to you if you want to do that bit. Uh, that bit. But it's something I always do. And then I'm going to click login. And then update. Now we're logged into the PyCore player. So the right screen is your PyCore player. The left screen is your PC. First thing I'm going to do on the drop down up the top. I'm going to click on root. Because the first thing we're going to do is move the meters over to the PyCore player. So we're going to go MNT. And then the uh, directory or folder ending in 2. And then TCE. And then optional. Let me just scroll down. So this is where all your meter files are. We're just going to overwrite them. Right, so this is my PC. So I'm going to go into my documents where I've got my files. Then I've got a folder called New Meters. Right, so these are my edits. And plus I've got a couple of extra ones. You can use them if you want, you don't have to. The only difference is they've got a slight border on them around the meter edge, which I think looks a little bit better, but it's up to you if you want to use them or not. So I'm just going to copy these files and just drag them over to the PyCore player and that's done. Only takes a few seconds to do. Now in the drop down up the top again, I'm going to go back to root. And now we want to go into home, TC. Right, on my PC, I'm just going to go up a level, or back a folder. And you have a folder called Joggler Skins. Inside here, I've got my uh, custom Joggler Skin applet, and the other files we need. All I'm going to do is just drag the folder over to the PyCore player. Which only takes a few seconds to do, and that's done. All we need to do now is run a, a free commands. So up the top left, we've got open terminal. So I'm just going to click on that. Let me just open my text document. Right, these are the commands we're going to run. What this one does is the folder where the files we just uh, drag and dropped, the, jog uh, the joggler skin directory, needs to be moved. So I'm just going to copy that text and paste it and then click uh, execute because the folder where they need to go is a root directory. So this is going to move them for us. We can't copy and paste to it, but this will move them for us. PCPBU is now going to make a backup of the PyCore player. If you don't do this, when you reboot the Raspberry Pi, it'll go back to the default skin. So you want to make sure you do this. I'm just going to copy the text and paste it over. 
and then click uh, execute and that's done and it takes a few seconds and all the last one does is uh, reboot your Pi Coppola just going to click copy, uh, copy again just paste it over the top it says sudo reboot and just click execute again and now Pi Coppola is rebooting Just going to click OK. We can uh, close down Win SCP, and I'll just minimise my text document. Right, one thing you got to do after you've moved all your files across to the PyCore Player is log into the uh, PyCore Player's control panel. I'm just going to open up Chrome. LMS is my server. I want PyCor player. So I'm just going to click on the tab. And then I'm going to click on tweaks. I'm just going to scroll down. And you want Jive Light setup. And you'll see where it says set size. You want to make sure you're entering 1920 by 1080, otherwise the skin won't load. So you've got to make sure you do that. 1920 by 1080, and then click set size. And now most probably do a reboot. I'm just going to close that down. Now I'm going to go to the uh, HDMI output of my Raspberry Pi 4. There is one little extra tweak you can do to make it fill the screen. I'll just show you. It doesn't look too bad as it is, but we can make it slightly larger. So it's up to you if you want to do this part. Right, the thing you want to do is unplug the SD card from your Raspberry Pi and plug it back into, your, say, your PC or laptop. And you will see PCP boot. So we're going to click on that. This is the SD card. And you want the config text. So we're going to double click on it to open it. And the thing you want to do, you want to scroll down until you see disable overscan equals one. So all we need to do is just remove the hash like that. I'm just going to click close and then save. And that's done. Right, you can unplug the SD card from your PC or laptop and plug it back into your Raspberry Pi. If I found it, I'll quickly show you the difference. So this is the original. And this is with a little tweak. It's up to you if you want to do that step. It disables the overscan. So that's all done. The thing I've done as well, with the old version of my, H, as I call it, the HD version, you had to move image files around to get the flat version, but now you don't have to. It's all done within the single file. You still have to move your uh, meter files over, but all the edits have been done in that one single file to remove all the background images, so you get a flat looking uh, image which I prefer. So you got your first uh, display type. Then you got your second one. I haven't touched that one. That is as is. You got your full album image. And the thing I've done now, I've added back in the text only 
because my other version, this was removed because I couldn't, I, I couldn't get it to look right. So I turned it off. But now I've got it all working and then say, so I think it looks nice. The one thing I was thinking of doing, I may do or I may not do, is I could put a little album cover in the center, a small one, just below the text and above the progress bar. I may do that in the future. But for now, I think that looks all right now. Then we've got the uh, Spectrum uh, Visualizer. And my favorite, the Blue Glow Meters. You've got a full set of meters you can uh, choose from. It's entirely up to you. But let's say they're just my favorites. So as always, uh, I hope this video helps and uh, goodbye.